والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. So for example, we have those who claim that Islam has an outer and an inner. This has to do with our concepts, basic concepts, that there is a hidden part of Islam that is not known to people. And there's an outer obvious part. The outer obvious they call Sharia. We all know that one. The Sharia. And the inner hidden one they call the Haqiqa. The Sharia and the Haqiqa. Okay, Sharia you all know. Sharia is Islamic law. This is what is you're required to practice. And then Haqiqa, literally it means reality. The reality of Islam. The inner reality of Islam. This Haqiqa, you will not find in the books of Sharia. You can study them your whole life and you will never find it. This Haqiqa has to be taught to you by a special sheikh who got that knowledge from other special sheikhs who got it from other special sheikhs and they trace this back for example to Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu when he was in the cave with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam on the way to Medina. When he was in that cave, they claim the Prophet وسلم, taught Abu Bakr the Haqiqah. Now the rest of the Sahaba, they only knew the Sharia. But Abu Bakr knew the Haqiqah. And he passed this on to one who passed it on, to one who passed it on, till it comes down to these particular sheikhs that are around today. Okay. Now this is a view. And there are many Muslims who subscribe to this view. We have to ask ourselves, is this the true view of Islam? Is this what Islam is? Or is this extreme? This is the point. Because people will be selling this. They will be promoting it. Well, how do we know? How do we know it's not true? Tell me, how do we know if it's true or not? How are we supposed to figure it out? Hmm? Tell me, somebody, put your hand up, tell me. Hmm? We won't know. So it means then our religion is so confused. That we won't be able to even know whether this claim is true or false.